What's up guys, this is AppSuck05 um, I'm making a video, quick video to show you how to flash the ice cream sandwich ROM for your Vibrant, Samsung Vibrant 3G If you go to akscrilla.com you will find this ROM for uh, numerous amounts of uh, phones and uh, this video is how to flash it on the Vibrant uh, First of all you want to want to hold it back to original to your stock which I've already done that with my phone Gemini on the site has made a video on how to do this if you don't know how to do it you can follow his link on the on the forum um, and then you just gotta go come here to akscrillers.com and uh, you can go to Skrillers room of hacks or you can uh, find it basically in just about every section but just go to 4.0.1 ice cream sandwich link and scroll down and you're gonna find the one for the vibrant it says my end for vibrant you're gonna download that file that's that's gonna be 2.3.7 file right there you download that and then you're gonna scroll down and down here it says vibrant front facing camera and non front facing camera download just click on there it's gonna take it over to this next page click on this custom ROMs for the vibrant and here you have the two options now for some reason the one that says front facing camera version the one on top I flashed it a few times I think the, 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 the file that's attached to this link is might be the wrong file uh, but I know this one works this one in, installs ice cream sandwich on your phone so you go down to the second one you're gonna download that one and I'm not gonna do it now because I've already got them down here and uh, you gotta get those both of those zip files put them in the root of your phone just like you would root uh, flash a, a ROM on the phone normally so just put them on the root to the phone then you're gonna take the phone and you're gonna go into recovery um, you can follow the instructions that are on the site for the three button combination to get to it um, and with this ROM you're gonna have to flash it twice back to back the first one the MI UI ROM you're gonna have to flash it twice just like we had to do with the Skrilla ROM and uh, one of the problems that people were having uh, were flashing it uh, they were having all kind of bugs uh, when, when they flashed it and they didn't let the MI UI ROM run to a stable to a, to a usable state so the recommendation is that you let it boot up and let it let it run for a few minutes as if you can make a phone call with it and, and, and all of that before you install the second part to this so you're gonna scroll down to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and you're gonna find where you got the file M my MIUI for vibrant zip you're gonna click on that and install it yes now we're gonna wait for that to install also on the site on a little bit further down on the page I showed you there is uh there's a the, the the version for the for the captivate uh, besides the captivate there's a list of the phones that is available for right now on this site alright so now that already installed once we're gonna go back again to install zip from SD card as you can see we have a different clockwork mod uh, version with the first flash we're gonna cho choose zip from SD card again go right back to the same file and flash it again if you don't do this it's not gonna work right alright so while that flashes I'll continue telling you about it you can um, go down to this link here it says content updates click on that and you can see here we got a there's a short list Skriller did say he has this ROM available for uh, a number of phones like 30 phones or something like that some exaggerated I don't know I don't know exactly what the number is but it's pretty exciting man I, I walked around with this thing for a couple days now and no one else has this on their phone so you get it here on akscriller.com um, so this is about halfway through flashing and uh, as soon as it flashes we're gonna reboot the phone and let it boot up to a usable state 
Now I've told you about this site before, akswear.com. There's a, uh, it's free to come here and chat. All right, here you go. Choose SIP from SD card. Now we're gonna scroll down to go back and reboot system now. You can come in here free. There's a free flashing station. Um, there's 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 help people here that are willing to help you answer questions. Um, but there's also a site uh, a side of it that's for donators only. Uh, now you can spend countless hours on the internet on Google and Google is your friend. Don't get me wrong. I love Google, but you can go on on the internet looking for these files and you might find some that are corrupt. You never know what you're downloading. Or you can come here and for a small fee you have all this available to you and not only that you have support you have people that know what's going on that are willing to take their time and help you walk you through it answer your questions to a chat um, so I definitely recommend this to you I've been I've been on this site since since it started since like a little over a year ago and it's really it's, it's, it's worth every penny all right, so now we see this uh, MIUI boot up animation, and a lot of people think that because it came on, as soon as it came on, they could just take the battery out or turn it off and go back to flashing it, or even flash it without coming on here. See how it's non-responsive; it's still trying to boot up. You're gonna have to choose a launcher. You can go with the Go launcher or the Nemus launcher, and wait until it boots up again to a usable state so as you can see things are still loading up down here you have this nice little app drawer icon that's still spinning around <laughs> and I still don't even have a signal from my provider so I will wait a couple of a couple of minutes and as you can see, it's nice ROM, it's clean, it's got some nice uh, theme into it. Um, you go down to the settings, and uh, there you go, I got my 3G. Um, we'll go to the settings and go to system, and I'll show you guys what's what version of Android is. And like I said, the phone's a little non-responsive because it's still booting up. We'll go to about phone. And there we got, I don't know if you can see that, but this Android 2.3.7. So, right now I got my H came up there, 3G. Um, if you hold the power button down, you're going to get these options to reboot. Just hit reboot, click on recovery, OK. And that's going to take us back into Clockwork Mind when you get there what you're gonna do is that you're gonna do the same process we did for the ROM you're gonna go down to choose a, 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 to, to install a zip from the from the phone and then you're gonna choose the zip and you're gonna find the the other file that you downloaded the one that says MIUI Scotland um, that updates the one that's actually gonna install your uh, ice cream sandwich so we're gonna find it down here is MIUI Scotland Vibrant pick that click yes and let it install anyways I'd like to um, give thanks to Skriller he's he stuck out with this with the site ever since day one he's promised stuff sometimes some stuff took a little bit longer than others but you know he's always come through he's always given us the the latest for your phones and all the help that you need he's got people on here Gemini um, half cab one two three a lot of people have have uh, can find his videos on YouTube too uh, these are great people man they, they know a lot and they're willing to help you uh, now we're gonna reboot the system once that finish flashing and here comes ice cream sandwich 4.0.1 on the original Samsung Vibrant from T-Mobile
anyways if you scroll down to the other in, in the in the form here you go to the board index back to the board index and you can scroll down and you're gonna see all the different phones different brands that they support you got HTC Samsung LG Logitech Kyocera Motorola Sony and in each one of those rooms you can find the ice cream sandwich files for the phones that are on the list that I showed you earlier so if you're gonna go to ACC HD2 room click on there boom right there you got it 4.0.1 ice cream sandwich for the HD2 and I think I'm gonna be doing that just in a few minutes on a friend's phone so here we have a different lock screen it looks like the gingerbread the sands whatever you want to call it got the little ring come up pick a launcher I've kinda grew fond of this launcher I've been sticking with gold launcher for a long time but I don't know I've been playing around with this thing it, it's, it's really clean and, and really responsive I hadn't really had any um, crashes from it or nothing like that so right now my phone's pretty clean there's no kind of account no kind of Google sign sign in or nothing like that so I can't really just go in the market off the bat or nothing like that but this is it looks a little different than a minute ago it's still booting up and let's try to go into the settings we'll go to system scroll down about phone and there you have it guys Android 4.0.1 so remember aka skriller.com got ice cream sandwich 4.0.1 available for your phones come check us out that's it, it's AppSuck05, I'm out.